This is our Persian lime. You might know it from another name, Tahitian lime or bear's lime. It's a cross between the key lime and a lemon. So they ripen yellow, but they start off green. Once they start turning yellow, you're gonna lose some flavor. We recently had tragedy strike, where our tree split at the base of two meeting branches. Unfortunately, our trunk is not gonna be able to sustain these two branches this way. So what we've gotta do is cut it below this split. This is a lot of lime to lose. So instead of just throwing it on the compost pile, what we're gonna do is called air layering. You might also have heard it referred to as marcotting. The goal is simple, to make the branch grow its own roots. The way you do that is by denying the branch water and nutrients, but providing an alternate route for such things. Now I'm using a grafting knife, but any knife will do as long as you can clean it with some alcohol. You wanna make sure you're not gonna transfer any diseases or introduce fungus or anything like that. And the goal is to take the outermost layer of bark off the branch. Then we take a container of soil or something similar to soil and wrap it around the injury. The branch, realizing that it's now hungry and thirsty, starts dropping roots inside that container. We cut off below the container and we have a brand new tree, a genetic clone of the tree we have already tasted the fruit from. So the first thing we gotta do is sterilize our tools. A little bit of alcohol on a rag. Now comes the surgery. Now this is the outermost layer of the bark. What we want to do is cut down to what's called the cambium layer. We're going to make a ring. And then we're going to make another ring. So we've got a ring here a ring here, and what we're going to do is cut between them. Now if you've ever wondered what this part of the knife is for, if you've ever looked at a grafting knife and wondered what this weird tip is, this is what it's for. It goes in and helps you remove your bark. Now I've taken a perfect collar off, we don't need that. This still has the vascular network that carries nutrients from the branch to the fruits. So what we want to do is actually scrape this off a little. I'm going to go all the way around and scrape it until it's gone from a green to a almost white, much paler green. Now the roots are actually going to be coming out of this area here. This is going to become dead wood and the plant will heal here. As far as the tree is concerned, this guy is just gone. So now we're going to take this fancy pants plastic thing. Now you can just use uh, an empty water bottle, an old soda bottle or something like that. The reason this is good is that it's not clear. It doesn't let light through roots really don't like light. They don't like seeing the sun. They want to be underground. They want to be moist. And so if they see the sun, they die. If you use a plastic container that's clear, make sure you wrap it in aluminum foil or something else that will hold up to the elements and block light. You want this soil or some people use peat moss, whatever it is you want to use, make sure it's moist, but not overly wet. It should just kind of clump together. So you can see I've got kind of a clamshell of soil here. That's going to go right around this branch. Okay, there we go. Now we just wait a couple months. Are you going to wait a couple months with me? No? All right, well, good thing I did this a couple months ago. So this is one that we did, um, I don't know, three months ago maybe? Snip it off. So here we have it, our brand new Persian Tahitian 
bears lime, whatever you want to call it. You can see the ants have made a home, but so has the branch. Look at all those roots. Now we're going to put this in a pot and it should fruit for us in maybe three years. Definitely faster than sprouting from seed. And this works with all citrus and many fruit trees. This is something that you can um, just turn a producing fruit tree into a field of fruit trees with little to no money. I got this off of Amazon, but like I said before, you can just use soda bottles or water bottles. Just make sure that you use aluminum foil to cover and not let any light in. And there we have it, from tragedy to free trees. When life gives you lemons, something about limes. Thanks for watching. Keep growing.